भाई ये पूरा वीडियो डेटा एनालिटिक्स के बारे में है और कैसी एक इंडिया की कंपनी इतनी बड़ी फील्ड में रेवोल्यूशन ला रही है इंडियन फुटबॉल में रेवोल्यूशन ला रही है तो अगर आप डेटा एनालिटिक्स के बारे में कुछ जानना चाहते हो या इसमें आप अपना करियर बनाना चाहते हो या फिर आप बेसिकली फुटबॉल की स्टार्ट या अपनी फुटबॉल नॉलेज को एनहेंस करना चाहते हो भाई मैड अबाउट स्पोर्ट्स इज ब्रिंगिंग अ वर्कशॉप एक्सक्लूसिवली फॉर यू गाइस लिंक डिस्क्रिप्शन में बॉयज कल और परसों वर्कशॉप है इट्स वेरी रीजनेबल तो आप भाई लिंक चेकआउट करें जाके साइन अप करें एंड डेफिनेटली आपको कुछ वैल्यू एडिशन मिलेगा अपनी फुटबॉल में भले आप इसमें करियर बनाना चाह रहे हो तो, तो काफी मदद होगी आपकी और अगर आप हमारी तरह एक फुटबॉल लवर हो जो हर रोज फुटबॉल देखता है टॉक अबाउट फुटबॉल तो आपको फुटबॉल की समझ ज्यादा होगी भाई तो लिंक डिस्क्रिप्शन में बॉयज डू चेक इट आउट इफ यू गाइज डोंट नो हुक इज साइक इज द फाउंडर ऑफ स्टेप आउट इट इज अ डेटा एनालिसिस कंपनी विच इज फाउंडेड इन इंडिया एंड इट्स वेरी यूनिक कंपनी बिकॉज इंडिया इंडिया में आप लोगों को पता ही हमारे को इंडिया में वी डोंट हैव डेटा एनालिसिस विच इज इट्स अ वेरी इमर्जिंग स्टेट्स इट्स इन इमर्जिंग स्टेट इतना उसका कोई डेवलपमेंट हुआ नहीं है बहुत लोगों को पता भी नहीं है इसलिए मतलब इंडिया में फुटबॉल स्ट्रक्चर इज नॉट दैट डेवलप वेरी यू सी डेटा एनालिसिस हैपनिंग प्रॉपरली लाइक इट्स हैपनिंग इन यूरोप एंड अदर कंट्रीज इज वेल सो यू फाउंडेड स्टेप सेट सैक एंड विद रिगार्ड्स टू यू नो यू वॉन दी री इमेजन ट्वेंटी टू चैलेंज विच आई एक्स ऑर्गनाइज एंड ऑल्सो यू ईफा ऑर्गनाइज सो वॉट वॉज यूर एक्सपीरियंस Uh, like finding uh, you know coming to this uh, solution and what will happen with data analysis according to you like how did you come across this uh, particular problem uh, to be very honest like uh, i am from kolkata so you know like we have a very long history with football and uh, i mean uh, growing up i have seen a lot of players like who was at that time i thought okay this this player should play in our national team but at the end of the most of these players they kind of drop out and at the end of the day we talk about not having talent hum hum hamare paas talent nahi hai we are not being able to like perform at those i mean elite level and then we thought like in a country of billions if we could have just have the data of all the players we could run some big data analytics and and we could pick the best team against the op- i mean as per the opposition requires so but i mean to do this you need to have all the players need to have their data so that is not there and like to do this like players also need to understand the value of the data the clubs also need to understand because like plan to hum log bahut kuch karte hain but execution is actually very difficult so for this we we needed a technology which would which would gather the data from the video because i mean Grow, building a business i mean i i we also needed to think that sustainability i mean then cash burn etc there are so many issues i mean you just can't go ahead and do something that you want but we still try to figure out what would be the best financial structure for the clubs what would be affordable and then we started started this we created a a, a technology which would collect data from the video so it's a combination of ai and there is manual quality control as well and after that there are statistical models etc in place which can generate very visual insight because like if you are thinking about data analytics machine learning so many advanced things and then you see that who will be the users the coaches the players but do they have a the background in data analysis no they don't know anything about statistics they don't know anything about like modeling etc etc they all know football very well so the next challenge was to translate it in footballing terms and language in visuals which would be very easy to understand for them they need to they don't need to learn statistics or data science or coding just to be able to like validate what is happening on the pitch so through this we created a platform first of all first our pl- first platform was for clubs through which they can analyze all their matches their players and then i mean we started working with lower division clubs and i league clubs and see the main objective behind our platform was to m- make this data analytics accessible because if you look into the global scenario even like if you're looking into premier league i mean english football the clubs belonging to the top tier second tier third tier they have access to the data but if you're a club you're an academy or a or a lower division club even if you want to have the access to data you won't be able to because no one is collecting that so you need to have resources for collection then algorithms then programming so we wanted to create a one stop solution for all of this and that to like because i mean it's not just in the top tier level where data is effective even when a player is growing up you need to have some sort of measure of the day to day performance or else how they will know 
I mean, you are a very good player in an academy, but do you know how good you are based on the other players in other academies across India? So how do you validate that? So if you are a student like we all used to be, uh, we used to give IITs, JEs, etc., which were national level exams, and in that case, uh, I mean the results. used to like determine our fate in some way but we still had had that opportunity to compete for a single thing no matter how much difficult it was but we still had that space but here it's all about whether your academy has good networks with professional teams whether you are being i mean scouted or not you can be a very good player from a very remote place but i mean but unless someone in that place actually sees you play you have no hope of continuing that so this should not be the way right so we wanted to create a digitized network which would have everyone's data the clubs can scout the players the players can connect with the clubs they can apply now we are just like executing it on a step by step level initially we did it with the clubs now we are rolling out our platform for the players so that they can have a day to day measure of the performance and going ahead we are we are trying to create a network digital network through which like you maybe you are a very good player in an academy and you are having your data now you can apply to clubs who are using step out as a platform so that they can have direct access to your data as well as videos so so it's like digitize the entire process make it a same similar playing level for everyone out there So that has been our vision from day one. Our vision was to like create an impact in Indian football mainly because I mean I have been I am tired of just like complaining actually why this is not happening why we are not doing this so I mean we thought why not give it a try why not try to change something so mm-hmm. that was the idea actually. Mm-hmm. Sai, I have a very uh, important question for Sai. Are you Mohan Bagan fan or an East Bengal fan? uh to be very honest i could never choose a side because my father and their family are is bengal supporters my mother okay. and their family are mohan <laughs> bagan supporters so i just enjoy the rival we sitting in the back bench actually can say acha <laughs> sai i got another question for you ki there is a lot of controversy going on that the i test how you see a player then you rate him and about the stats so how much fast we can rely on stats on justifying a player because some players have very good stats but asliyat mein utne acche player hote nahi to how far stats go and how far clubs rely on stats to judge a player and how judge how good he is so i mean in that case you need to understand what stats to look at so for example if a defender has uh, 10 or 20 dribbles every game i mean he might be a very good dribbler then then like these are the aspects of stats they tell you what is happening actually on the field so it's not just based on your idea or based on certain biases we have maybe it's a player from my team and i'm a pundit then there's a slight bias that plays in behind but with numbers it's like you you attempted 100 questions you got 60 correct and you got 60 in result so there's no favorism going on there's no like when we try to do is now when we look at it in from a global perspective every company wants data analytics they they are like monitoring so many kpis of their employees why because data actually never lies it shows you what it is now you need to have the eye to look at what are the what are more relevant data what are not relevant because there's thousands of it so of course uh, they like, see football has evolved from its inception using visual perception we have always like seen football and analyzed for years and years this has happened so of course we have that analytical ability but then again to have a reference always helps right if you have the for example you're analyzing a playmaker and you're saying he has so many key passes uh then it's not just a validation you create after watching him in a match it's a season by season match by match so he has created four or five chances every game so if you're choosing a player for the next game you need to have an understanding not just how he has like now or not just how he has performed in the last match because the last match maybe he had a bit of uh, like the oppositions were not able to press him properly etc etc but if he's consistent at it then the data will show it to you and then you can pick him and you can rely if he is making five key chances in every match 
he will at least play three in this match. So that is where the validation comes from, actually. So that is how data is important, and of course, I mean, it's it's played by humans, it's watched by humans, it's enjoyed by humans. So of course, we we enjoy how humans, I mean, kind of come and debate over certain points. So it will always be a part of the game. Always be a very enjoyable part of the game. So nothing is taking it away. It's just making it much better. Like you are saying, this game is good. Yes. Uh, yeah. 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 Sure. No, another question I would like to ask about is mm-hmm. uh, grassroots development may kitna zada helpful ra sakta hai like is it beneficial at the beginner level as well this uh, data analysis thing yes so uh, if i mean uh, matlab grassroots agar if you're looking at under 9 under 7 as grassroots so that is the phase you be you like f- fall in love for the game when you when you pick up what is this what is that uh, how to make a pass you work on your technicalities then then it's more about enjoying the game but when you come into youth development phase like under 11 or under 12 to under 18 if you don't have data then it's like you're going to school and the teachers are telling you okay beta you're good in maths okay beta you're good in physics and that's how you're making choices of what you will take in the future there's no way for you to improve because there's no way to actually see what you've done right and wrong because after you play the match i mean you can't time travel back and watch it right it's in your memory so after the match to me agar matlab if you want to know uh kitna passes mai sahi diya kitna passes was not that i mean unsuccessful you would just the only option is to close your eyes and remember and just remember when you used to, when we used to play how many times we thought of the goal we scored and how many times we thought of the chances we missed right so it so it's about validating your performance and it also provides you with the confidence like when you used to get 80 in maths we thought okay yes maybe i am good in maths but if it was always about verbal feedback okay you're good okay you're not good then the people who are not doing good they they don't have a way to improve and the people who are doing good they don't know how they can improve more what are the areas they are lacking so so from pro- in in professional level level data analytics is more utilized in a very competitive way but in youth level i think data analytics can be very very useful in terms of provide the, providing the players with a measure of your performance like we have in school like we have in any other like curriculums activities etc where we can have like say for example you are giving an exam and you are not performing well you have the option to go through your answer sheet check what you have done right and not done right what were the silly mistakes so this is the similar way we can utilize data in new development where you can have an understanding and measure not just verbal feedbacks or memories uh, so say you touched on you know like what happens in new development you initially talked about ki india mein jo particular challenges hain ki jaise uh, you know some remote place if there is a place from a remote place if he doesn't have access to you know a scout or any sort of club then he can you know potentially drop out of the game so in particular like india there is such a problem because india football is not the most popular sport you have pockets or states where football is very popular or you know where you can say that football is the main sport so how do you go about you know which step out obviously you talked about your vision why you started the company but you have certain clubs which you are in contact with so how does this whole process work like how do you overcome these challenges where you know there are states with which don't have a league or they are, they are not you know regularly organizing football so there are some states which have very short football tournaments and there are complaints and if you talk like we are me and uttar we are both from uttar pradesh so the football league in uttar pradesh is you know not happening properly so if you are say you know in collaboration with a team from this state or from a particular state where this football is not developed like how do you overcome this challenge like what what is your process uh to be very honest not everywhere we can do much i mean we are dependent on the authorities to conduct their leagues and uh, i mean have the proper setup of matches etc but like the way we can help is if you're if you're conducting a league then we can analyze all your matches all your players are tracked by a unique id and the next season you conduct that league we can show you which are the exact players who are dropping out there's a way of providing them with a connection to show them that okay you have played this season you have played well these are the areas that you play did good now i can connect them back to the to this next season so that they the player so 
first of all the problem with dropout is that we are not being able to identify who are dropping out because there's so many players dropping out so many new players coming in india is a, such a huge country like there's so many things happening together so we need that digital transformation over there so in this case we partner with the state associations some of some of the state associations are real, like they are really looking forward to develop their league and we are speaking with them so as to provide them with the database of all the players all the matches they can have tracking of the players the players can themselves also track and in this case a lot of a lot of clubs like when you are going down in the divisions a lot of remote clubs are also coming in so if they are getting this as a part of participating in the league they are not being able to i mean they don't need to incur much greater cost on them as well because they are getting it as an access fee for the registration and going ahead we have also plans to conduct tournaments in remote areas so which we would we will record we will generate the data so that even the players who are in that remote areas can also take the benefit of this platform and clubs who are scouting players they can have they don't need to travel they need to go ahead with they can just log into the platform check into the players who go through all the videos and data and everything so this is the kind of way we are trying to help the the entire ecosystem making trying to build come um, i mean trying to onboard them on a same platform a digital network and going ahead i think we are also starting so going ahead once we have also some sort of value and impact which we can create we will also try to help more in this aspect so i get ek cheez which caught my attention which you mentioned that you are in collaboration with players as well right now so if you could tell us which players do if there are the players in from the just from the i league or the as and, and how does it helps the player do players in the especially in the indian lower leagues or the i league do they care about this stat do they focus on this stat so much or it is just the beginning of the phase right now uh to be very honest uh, this is at the beginning of the phase so last phase we onboarded the clubs in this phase we are onboarding the players of already partnered clubs and other leagues that we are covering so like for example last season we covered kerala premier league uh, now in this season we also have plans to cover a few leagues state level leagues as well along with the second division and i league so the issue with the players is that it's not an issue it's rather like it was not exist so no one has the habit of checking their data because it's not there so but then again after the match the feedback that we had is like after the match if you tell a player okay you have made 20 passes so now he will think okay i mean what should i do with this number is 20 good is 20 bad what does this 20 represent yes i have made 20 successful passes but what does it mean so we are creating more visual aspects of it we are trying to create some gamification aspects of it as well like you are going into the pitch you are playing the game but there's a gamification aspect of it which provides you the provides you the experience of playing fifa so like the players are going out of the pitch but there's a digital leaderboard where they are competing they are checking each other stats they are they're checking who is start topping the leaderboards and apart from this so this is to in, in i mean engage them more to bring in bring them into the platform have that competition in the digital level but other than that we are creating visuals of like all the data we are generating so we are not just providing him with okay you have made 20 passes we are telling him what are your average passes throughout the season what are your team's average passes what are the tournaments individual players average passes so that you can have a reference of what you are doing like what your stats are what your opponents are doing what your teams average is and what is your average as well and these are not just provided through just raw numbers we have a lot of graphs a lot of data visualization so that to make it more appealing and engaging so like our objective to is to not make it more, as much as boring as like the report cards we used to get after our exams it's more of a fun filled session for fun experience gamification experience and right now we are like partnering with academies or the clubs that have already onboarded with us and the, i mean the initial reaction is really great so they are kind of loving it to just to have the reference on a tap of a of your fingertips so i mean let's see where we can transcend from here and what about the like foreign collaborate collaborations how did they go like how, how did they approach you 
Uh, actually, they did not approach us. It was quite surprising for them that a company from India is like doing this. I mean, we told them that it's not like we are playing football for like 20, 30 years. We have 100 plus years old clubs in our country. So the need was, the passion was always there. So generally we reached out to them. So reimagine football, it was a global event. Anyone could have applied. So around, around 200 uh, companies applied from all around the world. There were some categories as well. We participated in champion learning and performance category. Uh, and I mean, in the initially we had to submit an application, some videos of our application, etc. And then they uh, then they scouted us as the finalist of the event. So I think there were around ten finalists. So we had us we had the opportunity to sit with the data science head and the data science team of AFC Ajax. So their entire data science team there were three people from their end. So we had a hour long session. They asked us a lot of questions. So I mean. The way they have modeled football, I mean, we are so far behind because, like, for them, they have uh, average age system for every league. So, if you are a youth team, say you are an under 13 team, and all your players are 13 years old, I mean, 12 years old, then you won't be able to qualify for the league. You that team won't be able to participate. You need to have an 11, 11 or 10.5 as an average age rating so they track so many things but like the youth level the necessity or the requirement is still there so there's not a company who is doing this for youth or lower tire levels but i mean for senior levels they of course have the best though i mean what are the tools are available in the market but youth level they wanted and apart from that this gamification feature because with these clubs what we're doing is say for example you're an academy and you want to tell you want you can set objectives to your players which would which they will re receive in the mobile phone so they can say say they're attacking midfielder you need to make five through balls to your wingers you need to make this type uh, ball retention etc etc so all these things will come to the player in the form of objectives and after their match is analyzed we will they can provide them badges like if a player is completing five out of six objectives he will get a gold badge uh, so this gamification and virtual rewarding etc so they were they were very interested in the proposal and our platforms etc that they are and that we are already working with and they have, they invited us for a like virtual session with them the pro pilot project is starting from september and apart from that we have also onboarded one uh, uae first division club from dubai so the founder of the club is michael salgado it's called fursan hispania so it's it's going to be a very unique experience for us as well because till now we have only worked with Indian football clubs in our last one year. So right now we have some global opportunities as well. So you have been a part of this industry for such a long time. Where do you think our players lack the most? Like we complain that our players don't have quality, nahi hai, but you've been a part of this a data and stats industry. Where do you think like we lack the most as compared to the foreign players? Uh, to be very honest, uh, in in I League, most of the players have around 80, 85 percent passing accuracy. The good players. Now, if you look into the like I League is supposed to be competing with Premier League, right? So now you compare what are the accuracies of Premier League players in every match. You'll see it's all the players. If they make ten pass, well, most probably one or two passes will be unsuccessful. They're so so good. So the issue is that it's not that just in the top tier level. We need to focus on the grassroots level because when the players who are now 25, 26 years old, I mean, we, we won't be able to develop them as much as we can do with 11 years old or 12 years old. So if we can focus on youth level in a very intricate way, where we can utilize some foreign collaboration with clubs like the ISL clubs are doing, if they can actually send their place to develop over there because in india i mean you can be so good as as good as your opponents or the players you're playing with are right because if like very recently we saw the next gen cup and we saw the scores but why why the scores were like that so if this team had been we playing with this type of uh, opposition for like a year or two years in the past the scores would have been much more different. So, first of all, 
the the exposure the experience the kind of kind of training they receive even the training they receiving it will take a lot of time because even the best of the clubs even best of the countries they could not do it in a in one year or two years so it will require around 10 15 years four or five generations but we need to start now whenever we start after that 10 15 years so if we start after 10 years is going to take 20 25 years so so i mean i think the more emphasis should go on youth development right now in particularly in the age group of 11 to 18 or 19 because they are the ones who are going to represent us in the next 5 years and they have the chance to develop a lot more than they are currently at their current level so like uh, like to just end the uh, podcast we just i just wanted to ask like you know as shovit also said that you have practical experience uh, in the data analytics industry so what have you seen like what are the opportunities available because a lot of people like we've seen that they are interested in you know joining this data analysis thing and it is slowly growing in india there is some sort of you can say there is some sort of affinity of people that they want to go to this particular uh, uh, career so what do you think is the potential considering you've just also started out so what do you think is the potential and like where do you see this industry potentially heading and how can it you know transform indian football uh to be very honest i think the potential is really great so i mean two year, if i look at two years ago when we started most of the clubs didn't have i mean for them it was a luxury it was something like okay european football like they really use this but now slowly they have started to understand what are the i mean what are the benefits how it's making an impact on them and like right now we have clubs from third division leagues as well as third division state leagues and these clubs will require an performance analyst going ahead because a coach can do only so much right now if the analysts have the data with them they don't need to spend hundreds of hours on just generating the data so going ahead the clubs that we work with or the or the nature or the ambience that we are seeing that it's they are getting a lot of interest and these clubs will will be looking for more and more analysts because uh, this is a very vital role that's becoming a trend now in global football so i think going ahead in 4 or 5 years of time uh, i mean all the clubs are going to need to have an analyst and you can see in, uh, in like in india it's uh, such a massive country with so many clubs like you can't even count how many clubs there are so if the league structure is uh, is there if there's a promotion relegation system and the clubs wants to compete there's something to compete for something to go ahead then definitely they will be investing and the best thing to invest would be to how to increase or how to like better your performance so for that performance analyst is a must to have in a club So I think this is something the trend is really going to grow, and let's see where it takes us. Hopefully, things are going to change for the better. Oh, yes, we hope the same. Saik, thank you so much for coming on to Sunday League Pandits, and we thank hope you. that Indian football and step out official have a very good trajectory in the near coming future. And hopefully, यार आपको ये video कुछ हमने थोड़ा different सोचा थोड़ा सोचा आपको थोड़ा value provide करे. How does data analytics work? India में क्या field है क्योंकि काफी लोग उसमें interested हैं. and we as a football channel had to cover this topic so thank you so much saik thank you so much for coming on thank you so much for taking out the time if you haven't subscribed to the channel bhai please not saik channel subscribe to our channel sunday league pundits <laughs> and obviously show with uh, football looker take care boys we'll catch you tomorrow bye 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 guys thank you guys